Hi friends, welcome back. Today's topic we are going to discuss about is Photoshop. Have you ever heard about this software? I think some of you have already know about this one. This software is popular amongst professional photographers and graphic designers. You guys can also learn this software without any hurdle or any kind of trouble because of its a very easy and user friendly interface having a range of tools that help you to create image or any kind of artwork from scratch this software is developed by adobe systems and you people will amazed by the fact that 90% of dtp which means desktop publishing users use this software alone to edit their pictures for the web publishing or for the printing purposes and not only it is used by the dtp professionals but also by the web developers in the next part of this video we will learn about the tools menus and the whole interface the software has practically before exploring the software let's just go through the features the software provides us first and foremost it has a very sharp and user friendly interface Photo editing is very simple in the software. Third, Photoshop provides simple but powerful tools to edit and modify the images in various forms. Fourth, tools in Photoshop include change of color of image, adjusting brightness and pixels of the image, resizing the image, erasing the part of image and copying and pasting the image fifth photoshop saves file formats in very compact form compact formats save storage space sixth it provides enhanced vanishing point with 3d support editing on multiple surface is possible in the software photoshop can support various file formats we can import and export an even greater range of file formats including psd bmp jpeg jpeg 2000 png talca tiff etc it provides 2d and 3d measurement tools now let's learn how to start adobe photoshop for that we need to start the software by clicking this button which is what we call start button and then go to all programs then locate where adobe photoshop is now click on it now see this is the interface of adobe photoshop here you can see different components of photoshop this is the top horizontal bar of photoshop window which is we call menu bar It shows available menu under the Photoshop program. It includes file, edit, image, layer, type, select, filter, view, window and help. At the left side, here you can see this panel which is called tools panel. It contains tools for creating and editing images. artwork page elements and so on in this tool panel related tools are grouped just see here if you long press this tool you can see for more tools in this tool below of menu bar you can see this bar which is called options bar it displays options for the currently selected tool it is also called context menu The items present under this menu change according to the tool you select for your work. At the right side, here you can see various palettes. Palettes help you monitor and modify your work. Palettes can be grouped or stacked or docked. Now let's learn how to create a new file. For that, go to file menu in the menu bar, select it and then go to the new option. This will open the new dialog box for setting the properties of the document. You will see various options of setting width, 
height, resolution of the image. Select the desired specifications and then click OK button. This is a new blank canvas which appears in front of you on the screen with locked background layer in the layers palette. Now use various tools from the tools palette to create a drawing. Now next step is how to save the document. While working or you have finished the work, you can save the drawing as the document by clicking file option again and then go to the save option. Like other applications, you have to specify the name of the document. Now click save button and then hit OK. Now your document is saved with the name sample2.phd. Now next is how to insert image and text. For that, click file option again and then click place. Locate the file you want to place. Next is how to open file in the software. For that, again go to file option then click open. Select any file you want to open. I'm selecting the star file and then hit open option. Now you can see the file is open in new document. The next topic is palette. Now we will learn about the palettes. Photoshop contains over two dozen palettes that can be shown or hidden by using the window menu. Here you can see there are several Palettes, Actions, Adjustment, Brush, Brush Press, Presets, Channels, till Tool Presets. All these are the palettes. You can select or deselect the palette you wish to reveal. Palettes with a check mark besides their names indicates that they are open in your Photoshop workspace and selecting those check mark palettes will hide them again. See? When you first open Photoshop, the palettes are stacked along the right edge of your screen in palette groups. The first group contains color and swatches palette. Below that are the adjustments and styles palettes. Finally, you have the layers, channels and paths palettes. Palette group can be moved around the workspace by clicking on the title bar and dragging them. Palettes can be resized either by holding your cursor over an edge and dragging when the cursor changes to a double pointing arrow or by clicking and dragging on the right corner. Now selection tool. By selecting specific areas, you can edit and apply effects and filters to a portion of your image while leaving the unselected areas untouched. Photoshop provides separate sets of tools to make selections of raster and vector data. For example, to select pixels, you can use the mark you tools or the lasso tools. You can use commands in the select menu to select all pixels, to deselect or to reselect. To select vector data, you can use the pen or shape tools which produce precise outlines called path. You can convert paths to selection or convert selection to paths. The next tool is Mark You Tool. There are four tools available under Mark You Tool. Rectangular Mark You Tool, Elliptical Mark You Tool, Single Row Mark You Tool and Single Column Mark You Tool. Rectangular Mark You Tool makes a rectangular selection or a square when used with the shift key. 
elliptical marker tool makes an elliptical selection or a circle when used with the shift key single row marker tool it defines the border as a one pixel white row single column mark queue it defines the border as a one pixel white column now come to the next tool which is lasso tool the lasso tool is used for drawing free form segment of a selection border select the lasso tool and select options lasso tool is useful for drawing free form segments of a selection border now come to the polygonal lasso tool the polygonal lasso tool is useful for drawing straight edged segments of a selection border after selecting the portion of an image you can move it anywhere on your screen to deselect press control and d button on your keyboard next is magnetic lasso tool when you use a magnetic lasso tool the border snaps to the edge of defined areas in the image the magnetic lasso tool is especially useful for quickly selecting objects with complex edges set against high contrast backgrounds when you use this tool the border snaps to the edges of defined areas in the image now come to the next tool which is quick selection tool you can use the quick selection tool to quickly paint a selection using an adjustable round brush tool as you drag the selection expands outward and automatically finds and follows defined edges in the image now next is magic wand tool the magic wand tool automatically selects the adjacent areas of the same color in an image now next is crop tool cropping is the process of removing unwanted portion of an image to create focus or strengthen the composition you can crop an image using the crop tool and the crop command to complete the crop press enter now come to the next tool which is move tool this tool is used to drag a selected part of an image to a new location with the help of this tool you can move the object anywhere on your screen So this was the selection tool now we will proceed to the paint tools in photoshop first we will start with gradient tool the gradient tool creates gradual blend between multiple colors you can choose from preset gradient fills or create your own You fill an area with a gradient by dragging in the image. The starting point where the mouse is pressed and ending point affects the gradient appearance depending on the gradient tool used. To fill part of the image, select the desired area or otherwise the gradient fill is applied to the entire active layer. There are different kind of gradients here in this software. The first one is linear gradient, next is radial gradient, angle gradient and then reflected gradient and the last one is diamond gradient. The linear gradient shades from the starting point to the ending point in a straight line. The radial gradient shades from the starting point to the ending point in a circular pattern. Angle gradient shades in a counterclockwise sweep around the starting point. Reflected gradient shades using symmetric linear gradients on either side of the starting point. Diamond gradient shades from the starting point outward 
in a diamond pattern. The ending point defines one corner of the diamond. You can change the mode of your gradient from here. You can also give the desired opacity to your selected gradient. To reverse the order of colors in the gradient fill, select reverse. To create a smoother blend with less banding, select dither. To use a transparency mask for the gradient fill, select transparency. Now next tool is paint bucket tool. The paint bucket tool fills adjacent pixels that are similar in color value to the pixels you click. Now let's learn how to use paint bucket tool. For that, the first step is selecting a foreground color. So now I'm selecting this off-white yellow color and then press OK button. Select the paint bucket tool which is already selected. Specify whether to fill the selection with the foreground color or with the pattern. Specify a blending mode and opacity for the paint. Enter the tolerance for the fill. Here I'm entering 25 points. The tolerance defines how similar in color a pixel must be to be filled. Values can range from 0 up to 255. To smooth the edge of the filled selection, select anti-aliased. To fill only pixels contiguous to the one you click, select contiguous. To fill pixels based on the merged color data from all visible layers, select all layers. Here I'm selecting this bent and layer. Now click the part of the image you want to fill. And I'm selecting this face, the whole skin color, one by one. Now see all specified pixels within the specified tolerance are filled with the foreground color. So this is all we have in this chapter. Thank you and stay tuned.